my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified every time that i upload so you guys today's video this bomb i look i was inspired by makeup tiffany j and mitchell on instagram i will post the pictures right here Follow them both because they are bomb. And Timmy has a YouTube channel. I've done a look inspired by her before, y'all. She is everything. So make sure that y'all go and subscribe to her channel. Um, I used the Jacqueline Hill palette for this whole entire look. So I'm not going to hold y'all any longer. Let's get cleaning up my brows with the Makeup Revolution concealer. And I'm also going to prime my eyes. And I'm using the shade C10. Y'all, if you have not seen my review already, um, comparing the Makeup Revolution and Tarte Shape Take Concealer, go watch it after you get done watching this. I will link it down below and put it in the eye. But this is like my favorite concealer now and it's only $7, so check that out. Alright, so going into my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, I'm going to take the shade Creamsicle on my Sigma E40 brush as my transition color. And y'all, if you don't have a Sigma brush, you definitely need the Sigma E40. It is bomb, okay? Like, super bomb. Since we're doing a cut crease and I have hooded eyes, all the colors that I'm using are going to be taken higher than they normally would just with a normal eyeshadow look. Um, if you don't have hooded eyes, then you don't have to do this. You can just put these um, around your crease area. But since my eyes are hooded, I have to put these like super close to my brow bones so that you'll be able to see the colors when my eyes open. So I'm going to take the shade Jax out of the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to use that with my Sigma E25 brush. It's another bomb brush. And the Morphe uh, M433 brush is also a really good brush to use for this. So I'm putting that above my crease and also in my crease. Y'all can see on my other eye like the gradient effect and it has a really nice contrast. So I was just really building these colors up as much as possible. So I would have the best color payoff and then I'm going back in with that E40 and Creamsicle just so I don't lose any of the colors. Okay, so now I'm taking the shade Hunts and I'm still going to use the same E25 brush and I'm doing the exact same thing with this color, putting that right in my crease and blending it upwards and then I'm going to take my Sigma E40 and go back in with Creamsicle because like I said, I wanted to make sure that I kept the contrast of colors. So dipping into the shade Chip is this really deep plum color and I'm using my Morphe M507. It's a really, really small taper blending brush. This brush allows you to get precision, but it also blends everything out. And I'm placing this color above my crease so that you'll be able to see the contrast, but I won't lose the shades that I already placed down. Now dipping into the shade Soda Pop and I'm going to be using the exact same brush and I'm doing the same exact thing you guys. You really just want to build these colors up and blend them out to make sure that everything is nice and seamless. Alright so to make sure that everything is nice and blended out I went back in with my Sigma E25 and just used whatever product was left from the previous shade so now i'm cutting my crease with my makeup revolution concealer and this morphe brush that i'm using i'll put the name of it on the screen because i don't know the name off top and y'all my eyes are not the same shape my right eye is more like elongated than my left eye so the struggle is real trying to get them to look like the same shade but i did the best that i could I'm taking my NYX Mixing Medium Liner with my Sigma E56 Lid Brush. And you already know the NYX Mixing Medium Liner, make sure that whatever you put on your lid does not transfer into your crease or above to mess up this cut crease that we just worked so hard on. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to take that same brush and dip into this shade right here. I believe it's called Beam. And it's like this really, really light 
um, slight, it's not really a shimmer, it has like a satin type of finish to it and it has a little bit of sparkle in it and I'm placing that all over my lid. So now I'm taking this really pretty teal looking color called Jada and I'm going to be using a Morphe pencil brush but I don't know the name of it. I'll put it on the screen and I'm going to use that to create a really smoky wing liner. So now I'm just going to clean up the edge of the eyeshadow with my concealer. So now I'm taking this deep green shade called Enchanted on a MAC angle brush, which you can use any angle brush. Since I'm not putting on eyeliner, this is going to act as an eyeliner to help me cover up lashes. And I'm taking the shade Jada on my lower lashes and I did put some brown liner in my waterline and then I put on some mascara. Now I'm taking the shade in light to use this as my inner corner highlight to um, open up my eyes a little bit more. I line my lips with ColourPop BFF3 lip pencil and then I use some Maybelline lip lacquer in Unreal and I top that off with Kylie Cosmetics So Cute lip gloss. Okay, so to complete the look, I use these bold face lashes in the style bold is beautiful. Do y'all see these freaking lashes? Like, I'm obsessed. I got three different styles, and I've tried two styles, and I love their lashes. This is like my new favorite lash company, y'all, legit. And guess how much they are? $8.75. These bomb lashes are only $8.75. I will link them down below so y'all can get them. Thank me later because they are amazing. So this is the finished product. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Leave me any video requests down below and I will see y'all in my next video.